Okay, we should be good now. Give it a second. There we go. <laughs> so slow sometimes. For whatever reason. Okay. Let's start with an easy one like we always do. Should be good. Hello. The cat's just here chilling. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? All right, we're Cat. here. Take a look at the equipment Jerry and prepare Bobby. accordingly before starting the investigation. New intel. Reports of light switching. Possibly harmless, but be careful out there. It happens in my house all the time. The lights like randomly turning on and off and stuff. Four? It's kind of low in here, honestly. Not super low, though. I think we need to be like really low in order for it to actually be something we need to be concerned about. Powers are here. Please don't be a demon. I hate demons. It's definitely not here. It's way too warm out here. I mean, the lowest temperatures we got were in that living room. Because it was like 5. We're only getting like 12 and 8 out here, so... Maybe it is the living room. No, like, crazy low temperatures. Maybe downstairs. The noise it makes when you transition from, like, one floor to the next always weirds me out. Oh, well, here's something moving. Sounds like upstairs, though. is actually the living room. Boo! How you doing? Hey, living room ghost again? Yeah, definitely living room. Okay, well. Do, 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 do. Ghost orbs, hooray! Already evidence. Oh, that's okay. I said happy birthday. No, that obviously probably doesn't matter. <laughs> She'd be like, who that? Oh, just some random person on the internet. Um, what am I doing? Book, book. Cat, why are you staring at me? Can you can you can you answer me that? Can you see her? Is she like, is she visible on stream? Why why are you staring at me, huh? You just being a cutie? Oh, okay, cool. Why down now? Stop being weird. Cats, I'm telling you. They're so strange. Okay, so I'm gonna put it like right here. No, here. Here's probably better. You can walk in that. That'd be great. I'm also gonna put the book here. You can sign that. Give me your little autograph if you want. Do, 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 do. 
we got? Oh, okay, so we got dots too. Hooray, dots. Two things of evidence already. I don't really need to take sanity pills, but I'm gonna. Okay, we'll do spirit box and EMF. How are we this fine day? Eh, not too bad. I didn't really do much today. Went to the grocery store to get some cat food, but other than that, chilling. Nothing on the book. No. Okay. Where are you? Are you here? How old are you? Where are you? No, not talkative. It's cool. Fair enough. No EMF though. You get mad if I turn on this? Well, you're not out here. You're mainly just in this room. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I finished my solo album. Well, the vocals aren't done, but I finished the um, the tracks themselves. Aside from maybe a few sound effects and stuff I might add in later, but it's pretty good so far. I don't know how... It's very different. <laughs> I've done this in real life. I'm, like, excited for people to hear it, but at the same time, I'm not, because it's, like, you know, it's not going to be as, uh, polished as, like, the jaded stuff, you know, because I'm, I'm not working in, like, a studio, or I don't have, like, a crazy thing. We're literally just doing this out of my bass player's basement with, the whole point of the album was to do it as minimal as possible. Where are you? Stop throwing cups. <laughs> How old are you? Well, that's good. I'm glad somebody will enjoy it. I'm enjoying making it. I'm not really, once again, it's not, like I said, it's not a big production. I'm not making it for anybody or for any specific pur purpose. I just wanted to... I had these songs in my head that I really wanted to write that didn't really fit with my band, per se. And I basically just asked Aaron to help me record it, basically. And he plays drums, so he did that, right? So. Um. I feel like it's probably fingerprints. It's either fingerprints or EMF. But the ghost just isn't doing things. It's kind of an issue. But yeah, it's not going to be like crazy polished or anything. It's as minimal as possible. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Second album. Kazoo noises. It does have some interesting instruments on it you might like. Some stuff that I've never put on. An album. Well, there's a keyboard, obviously. I'm going to some keyboard stuff. And there's a stylophone, if you know what a stylophone is. What the, where, oh yeah, just, just an EMF plant, I don't know where. <sighs> well, like, the, the, the video I sent you, that was the keyboard on that. But there's no distortion whatsoever. There's no distorted or heavy guitar on the album whatsoever. We did this entirely clean. That was one of the points we made was that it was not necessarily acoustic, but we weren't going to have any kind of like um, distortion effects whatsoever. Just reverb, clean guitars. Um, 
and we wanted to have different instruments. We wanted to have some sound effects and skits in between, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> and the J the Jaded EP, we have an e EP with the band too that's I finished last night. I finished vocals for, so I'd say that'll be out sometime in August. And I'd say my album, my personal album, will be in September around there. Or late August. Depends on how long it takes me to do vocals. Wish this ghost would do something. Fun times. But yeah, we're doing it for... I'm doing it for myself more than anything. I just wanted to get it done, you know? Can you, like, put fingerprints on something there, uh, Mr. Ghost? It'd be great if you could. Or make this little, uh, EMF reader go to five. I'd love to go ghost hunting again, but I don't have any friends currently that will are willing to do that. Three... Is there anything you should be prepared for? What do you mean? Like the music was? The Jaded EP that's coming out in August is going to be kind of... Uh, the plan is, is that it's a part of two EP thing that we're going to do that are related. And one is going to be like all heavy and aggressive and angry. And the other one is going to be more laid back and mellow. So they're going to be like sister sister EPs together. Um, we have some songs demoed for the softer one that we're going to do after, but it's not that one's not recorded yet. But we got this one coming out. It's going to be more of like the same kind of our usual thing, basically. It's like uh, six six songs. I think it's six songs. Well, we wanted to do more mellow music with different instruments and Jaded for a long while anyways, and we just kind of have been putting it off, so, you know. Now's a good time to, uh, do that. It's a lot. I'm doing a lot. Which is funny, because, like, I'm not working, so I'm, I'm like... Okay, I put this... You blow that out. Yes. But yeah, there's a lot of music stuff I'm doing lately. We got that big festival coming up that we're playing at in August. And not really... We can't really play shows right now because all of the bars... The two bar, main bars that we play at um, both got shut down. They went out of business. Because one of the owners um, unfortunately passed away. So, and I, I live in a very small island, so there's really not that many places to play. And then some of the bigger ones, is kind of really hard to get in there to play, you know? Unless you're on a bill with somebody bigger than you, per se. Can this ghost stop throwing cups? And look, look it literally stood up its cat picture right next to my, my dots right here. It is a cute cat. Could you please make this thing turn red? Preferably not with blood. This ghost be acting strange. It's a very shy ghost. I'm going to put this up here. Maybe I'll get something better. Oh, well, I'm glad I can help. If I'm helping even one person, that's that's important to me. I do it for myself, obviously, musically, more than anything, but I do enjoy it when people enjoy it or get something out of it, you know? Obviously. Good. Well, I mean, keep at your music, because your music is good. And it improves every time you do it, so, you know. 
I mean, it's always slow improvement. I've been doing music for a long time now. Like, I mean, technically, not playing it live and stuff, but writing music and songs with people and random bands and stuff over the years. I mean, it's been like, what? Like, at least 15 years of doing it, right? It's not like I just started yesterday and knew how to record things. Um, let me see. I don't know what to do with this ghost. I don't know. We got it narrowed down. It's not ghost writing. We're not getting that. It's not freezing temperatures. We're not getting that. And it's not spirit box. So it's either a banshee or a raiju. It's, is it very fast? It's not really that fast. It might be a raiju, but I can't see it being that because it would be a lot more aggressive. And that would be EMF. And what is the other one? Banshee. That would be fingerprints. It might be Banshee, though, because fingerprints is probably more likely. It's just rough because I can either do lyrics or melody or both. Um, I mean, for me, I just... I write lyrics like poetry. I just write lyrics down. Like, all the lyrics I can think of, I write it down or type it on a notepad or whatever. Whatever's available. And then... I'll come up with a melody when I'm doing the vocals, usually, and I'll try and fit songs to something. Most times, sometimes I'll have songs where I like have something, but not very often. Not very often do I like actually come up with the music at the same time. It's usually both separate for me. Dude, you're just throwing pictures off the walls, you're giving me... See, I don't think it's EMF-5, because I feel like we would have gotten EMF-5 by now. It's not easy. Uh, writing lyrics is probably my least favorite thing to do, in all honesty, because I'm not... Um, I don't know how to, like... Some people can literally just write lyrics. Like, they can just sit down and write lyrics when they want to. Or they can pick a topic and write about it. And I can't do that. It's just like... Sometimes it'll just be like a single line. And then I'll try to... Write the rest of the song around that line's theming or something. You know, it's... It's weird. Oh, okay. Ghostwriting. You finally wrote in a book after all that time. Dang. That book was there since the beginning of this hunt. Melodies are hard. For me, melodies are even harder because the problem that I'm having right now with a lot of our songs in the band... A fey. Hmm. Yeah, go. A lot of the problems I'm having in the band right now, currently, um, are due to the fact that I write melodies... <sighs> separately from my guitar Welcome writing like prepared some jobs for you. and uh and then when we go to play it live or we have to play it somewhere like in front of people i can't play it and sing it at the same time because i never wrote it together it's like it's like i write the song and then i write the lyrics to the song and, and the melody and then after it feels like i'm learning someone else's song because i have to like relearn how to play it you know what i mean um so this ep that we're doing now with the band i I made the melodies a little bit still good and catchy, but I tried to make them more easy for me to sing and play at the same time because there's a lot of songs on, say, even especially the last album that like we, I can't do live because I don't know how I'm going to sing it and play it at the same time unless I get another guitarist or something, which I don't want to do. The band's been around for so long now that I don't want to introduce someone else into it. It's like, that's just weird, you know? could ruin the whole um could ruin the whole uh what's the word the whole teamwork mentality that we have by adding someone that we don't know you know unless it was someone like a friend that I really trusted and even in that case I might not want to I don't tend to want to start bands with people that I'm existing friends with just because Bands always end up in some kind of power struggle to a certain degree, and you don't want to get... You want to keep the band separate from, you know, personal stuff. 
besides countless lyrics. Dude, I have on this bookshelf behind me down here. You can't see it behind the couch. But there are literally like 10 journals full of lyrics that I've never used. And occasionally if I'm really stumped on something, I'll go through it and see if maybe I might have something that might work. And I mean, same thing with like my phone. Usually I'll type it in my phone and then write it down physically later. I'm gonna get ghost photos. Since when do they not summon the ghost with a cursed object, bro? Why do you tell me this every time I come here? Don't think you're the only person that does stuff like that. Literally, I'd say like 90% of musicians have a similar mindset when they write and how they write. I think everybody seems to like, even, you know, me sometimes, I'm like, man, like, I think that like, I'm, I write really weird from everybody else, but then I'll watch an interview of like one of my favorite musicians and they'll be talking about like how they write and I'm like, oh, well. so like everybody thinks like this then. Everybody is as crazy as I am. I think creative people are just a little bit um, weird anyways. We think differently, obviously, than, you know, other people that are just less creative. I'd say a three-piece is, is usually, like, the minimum you want for a band. Even if it's, like, not the kind of music I play. Oh, there's the voodoo doll. That's a good sign. Like, me doing the solo album thing has been... It's been fun, but it has also been very painful. Because it's really... Um... It's really, like, weird. It's different for me. I've never written music by myself, and if I have, I've never usually put it out, you know? It's gonna be another complicated upstairs ghost. Is that what we're gonna get here? Or are you in this room? Temperature is indicating that you might be in this room. But now it's not, so I don't know. Maybe you're moving. Keep half opening doors. I need to stop doing that. Vocals as well as me, but then I handle all the rest. I mean, pretty much any band you're going to be in or musical endeavor with anybody, one person is going to shoulder more of it than, than someone else. That's just unfortunately how those things go. For me, it used to be, oh my lord. Okay. It used to be that, like, in my last band, I was shouldering, like, all the promotion, calling up the clubs and bars and places to play and the venues and doing all the artwork and doing the track listing and, you know, helping with recording. And I was doing literally everything. And, and as then as well as writing guitar and lyrics and, and vocals. And I got so sick of that band that I literally, when I, I had a trouble getting members to stay in the band all the time, eventually I just said no and ended the band. And then that's when I started Jaded Truth. Um, and my drummer, Mike, uh, does most of that now, honestly. But he seems to enjoy it. He likes having that... Uh, I think he likes having that, like, not control, but, um, he seems to enjoy the responsibility of it all. That's all very overwhelming to me. I, like, you know, if I had a band manager, I feel like I would be happy because it'd be a lot less BS for me to deal with. Ghost orbs, okay. Let's get some sanity pills. Take this and this. But yeah, so, where can I put this where I'm going to see it? I need to put it, like, on the bed right there. He's a cool dude. Yeah. I mean, Aaron was in, my bass player, was in my, um, 
last band with me too, right? And my drummer was in a completely different band, and then we kind of just fused together after both of our bands pretty much around the same time broke up. Um, so, there's that. Hang on a second. So, uh, yeah, what I'm trying to say is there's different people in bands. Like, someone's going to shoulder more responsibility than someone else, and it's an unfortunate uh, side effect of being in a band. You want things to be equal, but they're never really going to be fully, you know. I mean, that being said, if Mike asked me to do anything, I'm down, right? Like, I mean, right now it's a lot more uh, balanced than it was in my last band. Because right now I do vocals and... Um, Vocals, lyrics, guitar, right? And then, like, Aaron... Aaron has the least amount of responsibility, realistically. He probably pretty much just does bass. And, um... Mike does the drums. And he... His house is the recording studio that we have set up. And he records it and mixes and masters everything, usually. Um... And he does all the promotion and stuff, too, right? So... It's it's a lot for him, but like at the same time now, at least I'm doing the album artwork and stuff too, and all that stuff, and the track listing and stuff is all me. So, you know, it's kind of a little bit more balanced. Aaron's really laid back, like my bass player. He's just really chill, cause, uh, like you ask him anything. Oh, ghostwriting. You ask him anything to do with the band, and he'll just be like, oh, "I don't know, guys. Whatever you want to do." You know what I mean? Like he doesn't, he never, he doesn't usually have an opinion on things. He just kind of, he just likes making everyone happy, which is cool. Cool with that. Okay, so it's definitely not dots because we're not seeing that. I'm gonna write, cross that out. I think it's gonna be a revenant. We have a good group of dudes. We don't always get along. We have arguments every now and then about stuff, but, you know. They're still my friends, no matter how much, you know. And Aaron, my bass player, no offense to Mike. I mean, Mike's a really good friend of mine, but me and Aaron have been, like, brothers for since we started doing music together, right? So, he's more like my brother than my friend. Where are you? Are you here? Oh, freezing temperatures. There we go. We got it. My thing with bands when we, when you're with other people is if somebody has a suggestion for something, just try it. If it doesn't work, then, you know, say this doesn't work. But try every every option, you know, when stuff comes up. Even if you're, you're adamantly against it or you don't think it's going to work, it's, it's, just, it's just better to just, you know... I was right. I was right. Okay, so we can do motion sense. We can do all of these. Pretty much. Okay, well, let's take the parabolic. And let's take the motion detector. We'll do the smudge sticks last. Keep in mind, I had two bands before this band, too. As well as doing stuff solo and with random friends. Like, this isn't like my first band, right? It takes a while to find the right people. I mean, that's why the band is named why it is. It's called Jaded Truth. Because we became jaded looking for members that would actually show up and stuff. And put in effort, you know? Lots of sound, but no ghost sound. I need the ghost sound, bro. Should maybe say something in this, maybe? It's technically your second. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's... It's hard finding people that show up. I mean, like, with my last band, we, we were doing shows, and we would have a show booked for months in advance, and we had members that would just, the night before or the night of, be like, yeah, I can't make it. I have a headache or something. And it's like, you can't back out of a show 
where you have an obligation to perform for people in a bar where, I mean, you might not be making the most amount of money, but like, you know, you promised that bar or club you were going to be there and, and entertain people. So you got to be there, right? It's not, there's no option in that. I'm sorry if you have a headache, but like, you know, take some Advil. <laughs> like, like I've... I've done shows where I've had a tooth that was like falling out of my head. It was hurting so much and I've just done the show anyway because I, if I'm committed to an obligation, I'm going to do it unless there, I'm seriously like there's a really good reason why I can't be there. And it got to the point in the last band where me and Aaron, Aaron was never that person that wouldn't show up. He was always there. Um, it got to a point where like, hang on a second, do this first. It got to a point where Aaron was doing stuff or uh, the other people were doing stuff. They just weren't showing up and it ended up being like, okay, well, I was bringing my acoustic guitar as a backup when I was doing shows because I was like, well, if this person doesn't show up, then we'll just do a short set, but we'll do it acoustically and we'll do like a little nice little unplugged set and it'll be really cute and nice and people will like it, right? Um, so when it got to that point... After a while of people not showing up like that, I just said, I'm done. I'm not doing this no more, you know? Yeah, but that's different. This wasn't somebody, they, like, I don't want to call people's bluff and say they're faking it, but a lot of it was them making up excuses because they liked writing music, but they didn't like performing it in front of people. And if you're going to get into a band with people, you better be prepared to, um... If, if it's if you started the band with the express fact knowing that you were going to and perform in front of people you can't back out of it once you're into it you know what I mean like it sucks but like I mean it's not I have crazy amounts of anxiety for being in front of people like I don't usually wear glasses when I play live because then I'm I'm pretty much blind then I can't see the crowd or anyone's faces so then it makes me a lot less nervous when I'm playing you know Yeah, it's hard, see? But you have that stuff, like, frequently. That's not, like, just, like, a random thing that happens every now and then. This is, like, the person I'm talking about specifically is, like, someone who is, like, rarely ever sick. And the only time that they would end up getting sick is when we had a show. <laughs> and it was, like, you know. And they did a lot worse things than that afterwards, which I can't really talk about, but. You know, it was, it was every single show. This wasn't like an every now and then and then thing. You know what I mean? Like we'd have like probably two or three shows a month and they would not show up to any of them. And I'd have to call up a friend to come in and like play bongo drums with us because we didn't have a drummer, you know, especially the drummer. When you don't have a drummer, it sucks because you literally just have to change your entire set. You can't do electric heavy sh like music without, um, drums it's it, it's so it, it can work but it's not going to be the same you know if you're a solo act or you're doing electronic music or something it's different you don't really need that because you can have you know there's drum machines and stuff Want to practice with custom picks for uh, no specific reason? Custom picks? What do you mean? Sorry, I'm dumb. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Ka Katiana? Katiana? I'm just going to call you Cat. Okay, I don't have a cat next to me because that would be... It's okay.
Okay, this is. I'm. You know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. Just, just wait. Let's just. Let's just do this. Just for a joke. I want to see if I'm right. Oh, it was close. Usually when it hunts right away, it's a demon. That's why I was like going with that. I always end up dying. Picks or pick storage? What do you mean by picks? You mean like guitar picks? I'm so confused. You've confused me. How dare you? Let's try that again. Guitar picks? I use jazz picks for if you care to know. And I'm terrible at keeping picks. I literally have had the two picks that I'm using right now. I've had for like the last year. And I just keep them lying around my house. And I can't forget them if I go out. Because I always forget to buy more when I go. Um, hang on. Ugh. Storage? Like, where do I put picks? Like, if I have a bunch? Am I gonna have to get up to get that, too? <laughs> I will. Guitar bag is. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. Um, definitely temperature. Please don't be a demon. Crucifix is one of the things, though, so that's not a good, uh, store. What do you mean, storage? Like to put picks? I'm so, I'm so genuinely confused. Bathroom ghost. Then narrow that down. I I just use like a um <laughs> Okay, I'll let you rephrase the question before I answer because my answer might change depending on what you're gonna say. Custom instrument picks. Or custom pick storage. Oh. Um. I'd say storage. Definitely. I was so confused. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I literally just use like a cough drop container to put picks in basically. It's pretty much what I've always done. So the ghost is out here too, so it's not just the bathroom. Okay, well. Noted. I'm gonna lay this right there. I 
Other than that, like mints or something, like you can get like I have like a Hard Rock Cafe one that I got at a Hard Rock Cafe when I went to. I don't know which one it was. Maybe Florida. I pretty much just put picks in that. Sure. I'm very specific on picks. That's why I would I would never say picks because like oh dots. Like, and the weird thing is, is that jazz picks are very strange. I've never met another guitarist in our scene, anyways, that uses the same picks as me. Because most people, you know what a guitar pick is like, right? Like, just like, you know, like that big. But I use jazz picks, which are like literally this big. They're like half the size. They're like these tiny, really hard picks, but they're really pointy. And I've always preferred them. Because when I play guitar, like, the only amount of pick that you'll see out from under my finger is, like, a little tiny bit, like, that much. Like, I will barely have it out, right? They're called Jazz 3s. And if you ever play guitar, I recommend them. They're, uh, really nice. Although my only problem is they used to have grip on them, and they got rid of the grip that was on them. So now it's kind of weird. Yeah, I love jazz picks. I can't I can't use big picks very well. I'm I'm terrible with it. <laughs> like if you ever if you ever see a video of me playing live and I'm like missing notes here and there, I'm not using a jazz pick. <laughs> Guaranteed cuz I'm so used to using them now that like I can't even deal with regular picks anymore. They are so good. It's just what I learned with. It's what I learned how to play guitar with, so I was you know, that's what I've been stuck with pretty much ever since. I've never found another pick that I like more. Okay. You Did you leave any fingies? You did leave fingies. Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? I'm not really, other than guitar picks, like, I'm not really picky about what I use to play stuff. I mean, I don't really care that much. I don't think it's all about what you're using. It's more, or how good are you with it, really. I've seen guitarists that, you know, have crazy expensive, like, like, $3,000, $4,000 guitars, and they can't play. Or they can, but they can't play with a band. I think there's a difference in someone who can play music really well and are really good at like writing like really good music, but then playing and interacting with other people is very hard for some people. You dropped it and lost it. I, I don't doubt it. I'll probably lose this one now because I moved it from where I had it. <laughs> I'll probably be down to one pick now. I'm actually planning on going there tomorrow and buying a pack because I'm I'm so low on them. Oh yeah, a tip with these jazz picks, because I find they slip in my fingers sometimes. What I do with them, you could probably see it if I put it up close. I don't know how visible it is. But it's like black on the top. I actually I actually melt them with a lighter. Like on the part where my finger is going to be. And it gives me more grip so they don't slip in my fingers as much. Although it doesn't always work perfectly, but... You get that more, you know, because plastic bubbles a little bit, so you get that, like, grip. Uh, what did I just get? Fingerprints. Okay, so... It's not freezing temperatures. It's not ghostwriting yet. We'll try for... EMF, I guess, next. I mean, that's it, right? It's only EMF, the book, and temperature gun, really. I'm going to take the crucifix just in case some things go sideways. I actually have, like, my little container that I have a pick somewhere has a bunch, but they're ones I never use. Either that or they're, like, novelty picks that I won't use because I like the way they look. Like, I have these Kurt Cobain Nirvana ones that I've had for years. And it's just sitting in there and I'll never, I'll probably never use it. Unless I'm like desperate. I don't like like flimsy picks either. It's always like solid ones, so.
I can get an EMF 3, but I'm not really getting more than that. Yeah. That's always a good idea. I also have a few picks that I got from, like, concerts that I've, like, caught or got from musicians. I have one that's, uh, I have a one for, I don't know if you've ever listened to the band Seether before, but I have one of Sean Morgan's picks. I think I've just seen Dots. I already have Dots. Okay. I don't know what it could be. Well, it's not Spirit Box. We're not getting orbs. Oh, yes, we are. I see orbs. Okay, never mind. We weren't getting orbs first. So it's a Banshee again? Damn. Banshees be everywhere lately. Capture a photo and a parabolic microphone. Um. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about that. We're just going we just, we just to jet. Yeah, definitely easier to customize. We In the band, we were actually thinking about getting our own picks made later on, but not right now. My friend does have, like, a press for them. I've got some jobs ready for you. I don't know if... I was going to say, I don't know if we'd sell them, but I guess we would. It's too bad most merch sites don't have that as, like, an option. Like, you can get, like, mugs and shit, but, like, you know, I feel like guitar picks should be on there. You'd think. Wouldn't you? Uh, there's no weekly objectives on here yet, is there? I don't think so. Wait, let me let me exit out real quick. Oh, I can't see it unless I exit out of the game. Never mind. Fine. I'll do Ridge View again. I like doing that one. My, I was talking to um, my bass player this week, and I was talking about like how how beat up my guitar is getting from using it. I'm very aggressive when I play live. There's not that many videos of me doing the stuff. To the I am a fan of stage destruction. I know some people are like, why would you do that? You're wasting a perfectly good guitar. Smashing it. I'm like, because it's fun. That's why. It's not like the people that are smashing those guitars are smashing the most expensive guitars in history. They're literally smashing cheap ones for the most part, especially smaller bands. You just change out your guitar at the end of your set to like one of these really shitty ones and just smash that one. I'm not going to smash my Jag Stang on the floor. Yeah, no problem. Okay, it's definitely a bathroom ghost. Uh, but it looks at that temperature. And like a Jagstang is not a cheap guitar either. Like I, I got it cheap because I got it at like a, um, a local shop that I don't think they realized that it was a Jagstang. I think they thought it was fake because they're only supposed to come in this like light blue color and like a salmon red color. And um, it was a dark blue, but whoever owned it before me must have repainted it or something. So I think they thought it was fake, and they were selling it for really cheap. But it's not, because it has the original color underneath, and um, the serial number is registered. But yeah, it's getting like quite um, beat up. Ham. No, I'm not playing. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like my main one, right? Which is a Jagstang. It's a 96, so it's fairly old. But like, if you look at like the sides of it, you can see all the scuffs and stuff on it. And then like, and none of this is like, I tried to do it either. This is all just like from laying it around. 
and laying it on the floor and stuff, see? And it's all covered in stickers on the back, of course. But yeah, it's like getting quite beat up. It's got a lot of scuffs and stuff on it. But like, I use it more than any other guitar. And my backup is this one, which is a Mustang. This is, act they're both Kurt Cobain's signature. This is a uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit music video uh, replica, basically, made by Fender. And then the other one is actually, in case you didn't know, Kurt Cobain designed the Jagstang with the idea of it being a Fender Jaguar and a Fender Mustang. Basically, one side of it, like, cut down the middle is a Jaguar and the other side is a Mustang. So, like, you'll see, like, how oddly shaped it is. But, like, if I put them side by side, you'll notice that the, like, this side here is the same on this one here. But this side here is a Mustang side. So, yeah, they basically, they, they just combine two guitars together, right? Wait, Kyle. Yes? Can I help you? I feel like it's got to be that bathroom, but maybe it's not. We'll set up there anyway. Can I not put it on this? Really? Really, really? I'm getting stuff upstairs now, too. That's weird. I'm just gonna lay this here. And we're gonna move this. I feel, I feel like a lot of times I get ghosts on this hallway. Yes, that is where it came from. Because my old online name I used to use on PlayStation was um was Black Delta because I used to have like a little logo that was like a triangle, like the Delta symbol, right? So I just combined that with that, basically. I don't even think it's called that anymore. I think I changed that on Instagram. Where are your brain cells? Uh, same place as mine. <laughs> Most of mine are, like, non-existent anymore, I think. Okay. Um, I don't know what I did with them, but... Something. I'm gonna check upstairs. I did hear a phone go off upstairs, so. If it's just one brain cell, he's just chilling out, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I definitely heard a phone vibrate upstairs, so. This is a scuffed ghost on right here. Oh, uh, same though. Well, there's nothing on the floor up here, which makes me, oh. Okay, definitely upstairs. I don't know if it's necessarily a room specifically, but this hallway, definitely. Ability to words is hard, okay? I don't know if I've ever had the ability to words properly. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that there. We're gonna go move this upstairs. Okay. okay, well, it's opening doors in this hallway, which makes me think it's this hallway, but it might not be. I swear, if I move everything up here and this ghost does not give me some evidence, I'm gonna cry. I will weep. I'm dead. 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 Okay. That was that was so ridiculously close. Dang! That's a spike right there. came from the other hallway that time. Okay, well, I'm getting orbs, though. 
But am I getting dots is the question. Orbs. I think it might be that bedroom. It seemed like the orb came from out of there. Jaded Truth vinyls. See, I'd be down for that. I've always been down for that. Obviously, I have a, I have a huge vinyl collection. But, um... I find a lot of vinyls pressing pressings nowadays are really, like, crap. Like, a good majority of my vinyl records that I've bought recently from different places, or, or even certain local bands and stuff, they just, they skip or they just don't work. Cassettes is more likely. I've tried to do that. Um, even if not doing it myself um, on my stereo. But, yeah. I'd definitely be down for I have a few cassettes too like I have M&M cassettes that I've bought like uh, limited edition ones <sighs> this is difficult this ghost is being a pain in my butt my butt that's the other camera we'll probably set that up it's probably a good idea We do have a plan later on when we do, because where we haven't done physical things ever, like not even locally, um, in this band, uh, it's quite expensive to get made, and, um, we have thought about doing, um, say like, hang on a second, so I can get this right first, we have thought about doing, uh, like a set of like all of our albums like say probably after we get these two EPs done maybe doing like a set with like all of them in one with the express idea of combining the two EPs that we're currently doing into one album at that point because they're kind of meant to be an album but we don't want to release them as an album This is an aggressive ghost. You good? No? Not good yet? No? You good now? Okay. This ghost wants me dead. It doesn't care about my sanity. By the looks of it. It's not really moving anything, which is kind of my, my deal right now. What I'm wondering about. Um, I'm going to move this. To like right here. Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? I kind of feel like this ghost might actually be moving up and down the stairs. I don't know if they can do that. I'm pretty sure they can, right? Stickers definitely. Stickers are definitely coming. We we've had them before. There's actually one on the back of my phone. <laughs> um, but it's like really worn out. It's from like our first album. We've never sold them online though. That was back when we first started. So obviously everything we were doing then was mainly local stuff. We never really bothered with anything else. Up until probably the last couple albums. <sighs> well, I'm not getting anything here. This ghost is definitely moving. It's aggressive. We got orbs on this camera. Like right around here. This is kind of weird. Because now there's nothing. draw a sticker and slap it on my forehead those ones that we got there are like they're like these nice vinyl ones we should get some more later on honestly I don't remember where we got them done to is there stickers on the merch site I think there is I feel like I did stickers because I think Luna has one or has some they're probably expensive AF though it's probably like if you're going to buy clothing, you're just as well to put it with the clothing if you're going to buy clothing or something like that. Whatever. I'd like to get them done cheaper. 
you know? Or have it so that, like, they can come free when you buy clothing. I feel like that would be cool. And just slap those stickers anywhere. I took a bunch with me to Montreal to slap on random <laughs> things. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up dead. This ghost is, uh, trying to kill me. It's attempted, what, three times now? Still haven't found its main room, though. I'm thinking this room, because this room seems to have the most activity. What door was that? Did you just open their, uh... Buster? Hmm. You know, I am gonna... I think I'm just gonna put one of those cameras in that room. And see if we get orbs in this room. Because if we do, then we'll know that this is, like, the main room. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm out. I fucking... I, I gunned it as soon as I seen that. There is one sticker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's one on there. Whew. I'm not saying you should go buy it or anything, because it's probably expensive. It's just the one thing I'm not a fan of with that merch site is how expensive it is. I'm, I'm currently trying to find a way cheaper way to do things. But, uh, it's not uh, easy. Okay, so it is definitely this room then. These orbs are clearly there. We need to move everything to that room. Um. Okay. Hopefully the ghosts don't try to murder us while we're doing that. It probably will. Yeah. Go for it. I, I literally don't care. Thanks for asking though. Dude, I says what anybody says about anything. I'm like, man, do whatever you want. Like, people can make their own t-shirts. I don't care. I don't expect people to have the money to buy, you know, everything. Because that stuff's not cheap. I know it's not cheap. You know. I have trouble buying things from some of my favorite bands or YouTubers or anything like that. So I can understand when people can't afford to buy things. I get it. See, now you're moving stuff outside of the room, which is confusing me, Mr. Ghost, because you're trying to murder me, but at the same time, you can't choose a place where you want to stay. A lot of people don't like you. Well, I mean, the, di the difference is, is that, like, there's people that... It's like, I don't care if people make their own merch for themselves or, like, their friends, but when, when obviously, when they start, like, an operation of, like, bootleg selling shit to, like, the masses, then obviously that's a problem, you know? I'm gonna get dots. Am I just gonna sit here and wait for this ghost to come back to this room? Okay, now you're in that corner, though. Or maybe not. Oh, I just seen dots. That ghost has an axe. That's nice. I'm willing to bet his fingerprints with how much it's moving stuff. Hmm. Probably try that next. Oh. I feel like some people don't understand, you know, when people do, like, fan stuff. It's like fan art or fan anything. Like, we love that stuff. Like, why not, you know? It's not like, it's not like I didn't do that for bands that I enjoy or love, you know what I mean? I've made lots of stuff. And I used to print my own stickers for bands. I put them on my guitars. I don't think there's any on these ones. 
But you could just go to like Walmart or somewhere. You can get like a uh, sticker paper, and they were like the cheapest. Like the stickers would wear off really quickly. But I used to <laughs> print off all kinds of stuff and make like designs with that or stickers that I wanted. You know, I get it. Like people don't have the money to go out and buy crazy expensive merch and no matter where you sell it online it's going to be expensive to a certain degree anyways because it's just shipping is brutal you know customs is brutal depending on what country you're shipping to is brutal i mean my my main concern with our music is to make it cheap for people in cheaper for people in canada and the united states mainly because that's probably the, the main places where we're going to get sales and stuff this ghost is not having me here at all could you like move a door though so I could get some fingerprints and then I can leave you alone and we can we can be best friends and you can not try to not murder me this time what door was that was it that door was it that door was it that door I don't think it was any of those doors This is being difficult. Yeah, well, I mean, you're just living on this giant <laughs> island mass in the middle of the ocean. It's not really an island, though, I guess. Oh yeah, I know that. I'm not. I'm not. I don't mean you. I just mean that's pr probably why people. The main thing that people get angry about, more than anything, I doubt there's many creators that are actually super, you know, pissed when someone makes like their own T-shirt or something like that for themselves. You know, I mean, it's kind of like what say like Phil and Phil and Kristen did with lo like making their own Lovejoy T-shirts, right? Like, what are you gonna do? You know. You can't, you can't really crack down on people making single t-shirts for themselves or stickers for themselves, you know. It's just not possible. And if, if you try to do it, it's just stupid. And then it just makes you look like a dick. <laughs> right? Once again, I get it. Because even if, when I buy merch where I live, it's, it's extremely expensive to get things here. Shipped here specifically, too. I get it. Yeah, that's what I mean, you know, like, that's why fan art's so cool to me, like, that, like, you know, and any kind of stuff like that, because it's just like, damn, you know, that's like even more of a thing, because it's one thing to go online, spend money, and buy a t-shirt, but it's another thing when you're putting effort into doing fan art and stuff, like, you're taking time out of your life <laughs> to do fan art for someone, like, that's, that's cool. I used to do a lot of fan art of all kinds of bands that I used to like, you know, I still do. Man, this ghost is not giving me that last clue. So, like, what do we need? Should I try Spirit Box again? I feel like it's not Spirit Box. I don't think it's ghost writing because it hasn't done anything with that. And it's not freezing temperatures. I'm thinking it's a Banshee again because it is quite fast. Every time I've seen it go through dots, it's really fast. I mean, look how many stickers I have on the back of my guitar. Like, I have a sticker for, like, everything, almost. All kinds of stuff. I love stickers anyways. I, like... And I'm not even the type of person usually to put stickers on guitars, because I usually think it's pretty tacky, but, like, this... Or it's like a thing where if I go to sell the guitar, it's going to be a pain to get off when I go to sell it. But I don't really plan on selling any of the guitars I currently own. Because I've pretty much got almost every guitar I've ever wanted. And I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg for them either, which is great. Besides maybe the Teen Spirit one, I paid a little bit of money for that. Not a lot. I got that one. I had that one before my Jagstang, actually. The entire reason for me buying that one in the first place was because I didn't think that I would ever get a Jagstang because they were so rare at the time. What did it do with the book? It never wrote in the book, I don't think. But I can't tell because it threw it. 
Huh. Okay, well. I feel like it's gonna be EMF. It's either EMF or fingerprints, but I don't think it's fingerprints because it's moved a lot of doors and I'm not seeing no prints, so. I think we just haven't had our EMF out when it's done some crazy shit. <laughs> Probably should have take took spirit box with me and tried that again though. Maybe I'll do that again this time. Cat, what are you doing? I hear you on my mixer back there. Stop it. I literally have the mixer. It's like a portable mixer I used for doing the solo stuff, and I just laid it on the floor. Because I don't have anywhere to put it. I think the cat's just back there chilling on it. Okay, I'm going to take fingerprints again, just in case. We're going to do spirit box. If we don't get spirit box, we're going to rule that out. Ah, this ghost. Most of the ghosts haven't been too bad tonight, though. Some nights they're, like, really easy, and other nights I can't, I can't get, like, a single glue out of them. talk where are you how old are you are you here young young okay anyways I'm out of your hair now I'm leaving so yeah if you had talked into that earlier we wouldn't have I wouldn't have had to been there that entire time Ghosts. God, it's so difficult. Like, stop trying to murder me and just give me the clues so I can leave. Like, it's not like I'm coming in here with a proton pack and, like, vacuuming you up or some, some shit. <laughs> okay, so it's not a banshee. It was a yokai. Like, yokai watch. I should have did the parabolic microphone thing. Darn. Oh well. It's okay. I'm only going to do like one or two more. Try the campsite again. I can't do... I want to do the farmhouses, but every time I do the farmhouses, like, there's like a memory leak from the game that like crashes my computer. and Or at least the stream. Until I close the game and restart it. It's weird. But it's only on that. It's only on that level in the school. I just unlocked a memory. What yokai watch? I watched like a, the first season of that show or something when it came out. <laughs> All right, we're here. It was totally not intended for me because I was probably like twenty, what, at least twenty-five. The ghost here seems to be linked to a cursed object. Go and take a closer look. Maybe using it will help your investigation. What's your name? Dave. Yo, it's Dave. Risk, we got a we got a Dave ghost. Yo, Dave, where you at? <gasps> I asked, I guess, didn't I? Okay. So we're just going to set this up here. I guess he doesn't like me calling him Dave. It's his literal name, though. <sighs> God, that gave me a heart attack. The ghost was, like, on top of me. Oh, I see orbs right there. Pretty sure that's orbs. Yeah. Evidence. Evidence. Orbs. That's what I get for going in, like, yelling, Dave, where are you at? <laughs> Dave, where are you at? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like, chill out, bro, please. Stop throwing stuff. It's not cool. It's lame. You forgot I'm old. Yeah. No, it's okay. I am. <laughs> Older. Not old. Older. Definitely. I get it. It's funny. I always see comments on like TikToks or stuff like that of people like talking about different ages and stuff like that. And they're like, you know. Like, people in their 20s always seem to call people in their 30s old. And I'm like, man, when you get in your 30s, you're going to hate that when all the 20-year-olds are calling you old. <laughs> You'd be surprised. It doesn't really bother me, personally. It's just weird to think about. It's not It's not like it upsets me or nothing. It's just, like, it's so strange. Because I'll, like, think about, like, you know, music or something that I listened to growing up or, like, when I was in my teens. And... And I'm like, man, it doesn't seem like it's that long ago, but like it's like 20 years ago. <laughs> it's freaking weird, man. You don't realize it. You're just like, oh, I'm doing good. And then like time just catches up with you and you don't even realize it, you know? Like like I was talking about Eminem earlier. Like I was just thinking about that the other day. I'm like, all of his albums are coming out like 20th anniversaries now. And I'm like, damn, man. Like I remember I was like, I was like, I was literally nine years old when he put out his first album. You probably weren't even born yet. <laughs> no. But it's seriously though. It's it's just so weird to think about, you know? <laughs> Practically baby. Uh, what should I try next? <sighs> Spirit box, I guess. God dang, this ghost is... This ghost is not liking me being here. What are the special objectives? EMF reader and... Smudge stick while it's chasing someone. No thank you. Don't want to be around for that. It's probably going to happen anyway. Unless we got book. Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Yo, Dave, where you at? Where are you? How old are you? Hmm, not spare box. Unless it's being shy. Fair enough, that'd be me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna take the other camera and set that up. Oh, you're still throwing stuff, I see. You're still being rude. I'm just gonna put the other one, like, right. Could do fingerprints, but there's not really many spots to get it unless it's on the floor. Seems to be like the campsite is like the main area. I guess what I'm trying to say, my point is, but with the whole getting old thing, is that like you don't realize that you're getting old until someone eventually says it to you, and then you're like, damn. Or, like, something, you know, that you grew up with. There's, like, an anniversary of it or something like that. And you're like, damn. <laughs> damn, that was that long ago? It doesn't feel like that long ago. 
And then it's even the only thing that that bothers me the most is like when like you'll have like Gen Zers talking about like old tech, like it's friggin' ancient. Like the people, the people that say, uh, like the the late nineteen hundreds is like, oh, why, why you guys say it like that? It's not cool, man. Don't do that. Like I know that's correct, yes, but like, come on, dude. Like the late nineteen hundreds, really? The late nineteen hundreds? You gonna do that? You gonna do that to all of us? You're not old, not yet. You don't. You think you are? I think that's the funny thing is that like everybody in their twenties thinks that they're old, but they're not. And I just like spilled a bit of my tea, so I'm gonna compressed air it out of here. Sorry. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Fingerprints, maybe. I think I think the worst thing too is like when you're uh, working with people that are younger than you. Like, it used to be the thing like I'd be working. You know how like if you have a job or something, and you're working with people, and everyone that you're working with is like in their thirties and forties, or maybe even fifties, and you're like, oh man, I'm like the young person on this job. When when it gets to the point that you're working a job and everybody is younger than you, it it hurts physically. It's like oh, oh my heart, why? A boomer? <laughs> That's funny. No. You're not a boomer. My mother is a boomer. Literally, she is. Which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Well, not always, I guess. Ba, ba, ba. I'm like jealous of all the co cool concerts my mother got to go to, you know? All the really good bands from her generation and earlier, you know? Like my mother has seen like The Clash live, she's seen Bob Marley live. She's seen like, like all these really amazing musicians, you know? People don't put things in context like that either, you know? It's like, you know, all these people that people call old now that are in their 40s, I'm like, like, like you guys, like, a lot of people in your generation really like Nirvana and bands from the 90s and stuff like that. I'm like, you realize all these people that are in their 40s are the ones that grew up with that band, right? Like, you realize that if Kurt Cobain was still around he would be, like, 50 years old, right? <laughs> like, all these people you're talking about, you know, they grew up with this stuff, right? Mm, yeah. I worked with somebody at my last job um, that, like, me and my other friend, who is younger than me, and he, he knows all this stuff, was asking him, like, if he knew what a floppy disk was or something like that. And he thought that we were talking about vinyl records. And that physically hurt me a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that kind of hurt a little bit. I was like, he's like, oh, that's like the records, right, that you play? I was like, oh, oh, no. How do you think a floppy disk is a vinyl record? That hurts. Why would you do this? It's funny because that job I'm talking about, when I started there, which wasn't long ago, they were still using floppy disks, and that was, like, last year. And I was like, man, you guys still have floppy disks? It is 2023. There is no need to have floppy disks unless you're, like, a collector or something, like myself. Am I going to figure out this ghost, or is this ghost just going to be difficult? 
Where are you? Are you here? I'm behind you. No, you're not, you liar. Dave. Don't just flop. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll put, I'll put my album on like 20 floppy disks. That's probably how many it would need. I don't even remember what size floppy disks are. It's not very much. It's only like kilobytes, right? Okay, so we got spirit box. It's another yokai. God damn. Uh, yeah, I was never really a skinny Welcome jeans back. person. <laughs> It's too much effort for me to get up in the morning and do that. I don't care about people that wear them, though. I mean, whatever. I don't care what anyone wears. Okay, we'll do one more. We'll do Willow Street again, and then I think that'll be fine. Maybe. Unless we die, like, right away or something. Or it's, like, a really quick one. Oh, so I didn't buy smudge sticks. I was like, why is it not the right price? Young people under hit against skinny jeans and side parts. Man, my generation had like rip off pants, if you know what that is. Like the ones that have like the buttons going down the side of the leg and you could like rip them off. That was us. Whoever was here must have summoned the ghost with a cursed object. Talk about cringe. Investigate it, but be careful. Talk about cring cringe clothes you can't wear anymore. Yeah. Twas a thing. Keep in mind, I'm a 90s baby, but realistically, I grew up in... with the 2000s, right? Like, the 2000s was my... the early 2000s. I was, like, in my teens for that, you know? So, realistically, the music I grew up with was new metal, hip-hop, and, um... pop-punk. I was very into pop punk in my teens. Well, I mean, it's like I said, Sum 41 was the first band I ever seen live, right? You're throwing stuff, but I don't know where you're throwing stuff. Is it out here? Is it in the bathroom? Are you throwing shampoo bottles around again? Maybe. Is Coast gonna try and murder me too? They always try to murder me lately. I used to get ones that were like really easy to deal with, and lately I've been getting like all these really aggressive ghosts. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a hint. Are you actually a bathroom ghost? Do we have another one? Is that the second one of the night? I hear things moving around, but I don't see where they're moving around. Oddly enough. Yeah, okay, it's bathroom. Definitely bathroom. Um. Dude, bring back all the good stuff. Who needs smartphones and Instagram? There's part of me, I'm gonna sound like a really old person now. There's part of me that kind of misses not having cell phones around. I don't like how much I'm on my cell phone, you know, and social media. Like, um, if I didn't have a band right now, I would definitely delete my Facebook. I think the only thing I'd probably keep is Instagram, mainly because I just like posting pictures, really. I don't really care so much about interacting with things or people. People. Pff, people. Who needs them? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't have social media otherwise. Like, Aaron, my bass player, doesn't have any social media. He doesn't... He deleted all that stuff. I know you're people. You're different. It's not what I mean. I mean, like, the amount of arguments I get into, like, people, like... With people on, like, you know, comment sections and stuff just, like, is stupid. It's... <laughs> there's no need... Yeah. 
Like, I was in the comment section defending, um, people from being persecuted for whatever reason in this comment section today, and it was driving me nuts. I just, I hate, I hate people not... What, like, why do people gotta shit on each other all the time? Like, why can't people just, like, get along? Like, why is it so hard to just accept other people and what they like? Like, why is that so difficult? Like, why does it bother you, you know? That's what bothers me about it. I don't care what anybody does as long as they're not hurting someone else. You go do your thing. Whatever you want to do. It's all good. Don't matter to me. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, you are absolutely correct. That always glows on that mirror. I don't know why I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, it just it just gets on my nerves. I, I hate seeing it, and then, like, it's stuff like that. Like, I'm just like, man, I wish I didn't have social media so I didn't have to look at that stuff. Because it bothers me more than it should, really. People acting like that, you know? Because, like, I'm not like that. And if I, if I ever find out that I'm offending somebody by something I do or say, like... I feel terrible about it, you know? I'd be the first person to apologize for offending someone or whatever. I'm not, I'm just not like that. Some people, it's like they go out of their way. There's a few advantages, yeah. Well, I mean, social media and the internet are like anything else. It's, it's great. And it has lots of pluses, but it also comes with a lot of downsides. Everything comes with downsides. There's, like, you know, that's just... It's just how it is. Yeah. That's fair. Ooh, Pinky Prince, you gonna talk to me? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Where are you? <laughs> Fair. That silhouette is making me laugh. Cause I'm a child. What what is even causing that 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 shape? <laughs> oh, it's the top. It's the top of the. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Oh, how old are you? see my legs. My legs are gone. All this time I was the ghost. That's the plot twist. Um, damn. It's not freezing temperature. It's not spirit box because it would have said something by now. It's not freezing temperatures. Did we get dots? We got fingerprints, right? Yeah. I don't think we got dots. I don't think we got ghost writing. Um... Okay, well, we'll take this, and I'm not seeing orbs again. Oh, no, you say I'm just right there. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. Give my second thing of pills. I got pills. They're multiplying. Smudge sticks blow out a candle. Sorry for that reference. It just happens sometimes. E 
EMF5. Please. Please EMF5. Much appreciate. Book? No. No book. You don't want to sign my book. But I want your autograph. The famous Willow Street Ghost. Oh, two. Leave that open. Why you gotta be so complicated? Well, it's I got chills. It's from Greece. Once again, showing my age. Even though that's beyond my age. That's like my mother's age. Erg, why won't you give me EMF5? Whoa. Okay. You don't like me being in here, do you? Stop throwing a shampoo. Is that L'Oreal Kids? No more tears? Yeah, that's the name. So you know better than me. I'm not a Grease fan. We had to watch Grease in school, and I fucking I hated watching it. Couldn't stand it. I was like, what does this have to do with music class? This isn't teaching me anything besides I don't like John Travolta now. Fair. Never said you couldn't like it. <laughs> you're, you're allowed to love it. Um, I don't know what to look for. Why is this ghost being so stupid? Why are you being dumb? Why are you doing that? Cleanse the area too. Do like the whole poltergeist thing. This house is clear. Now you're turning on the shower. This ghost trying to say I'm stinky. I think I just seen dots. I think I just seen dots. Did I just see dots? You th the ghost threw my book in the bathtub and then turned on the shower. That's just rude. That's just not cool. I'm not even doing anything to hurt you. You're just being you're just being aggressive for no reason, and it's very hurtful. Whatever your name is, I didn't look. It's not Dave, so I don't care. You light your hedges on fire. No. Darn. Sharn, Sharnay, Sharn, Sharn. Is that a name? I don't. I've never heard that name before. Um. Okay. Well, I think I just got dots. I could be wrong. I'm gonna look, and we're gonna make sure, cause I don't trust that. I think we got dots, which would make it a banshee. What's the other thing? Smudge sticks. We'll do that next, I guess. If if we get dots, that is. I don't want to. I don't want to cleanse the area if the ghost isn't figured out. Your story, Saving Private Ryan, came out when? When did that come out? Had to be like late '90s, early 2000s, right? I've seen that movie so many times. I've seen that so many times. I love World War II stuff, though, anyways. I love World War II history. I'm, like, huge on that. I have so many books. The amount of World War II books that I buy at thrift stores is redonkulous, and people at the cash register will stare at me, like, why are you buying these books? And I'm like, because I'm interested in history. <laughs> Leave me alone. Am I not allowed to be interested in history? Is that, like, a crime or something? Everybody should be interested in history. Is important. Especially that history. The darkest parts of history. One of them. I'm gonna cleanse it because I don't know what you are and you're not helping me. Ninety 
1998. It's probably around 1998, I guess. Damn, I was eight years old when I came out. <sighs> My hips. <laughs> Never what was a fan of ten things. What's ten things? I probably know. I'm probably just being stupid. My one brain cell is probably just not working either. Damn it. Can you run through the damn dots so I can see you, please? Ghosts, man. Why are they so annoying? I'm almost sure I seen it run through the dots when I walked into it, though, so. I'm probably gonna go with dots. I just like second guess myself. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> so, me either, I guess. I know what you're talking about now. How is that not cleansing the area near the ghost using smudge sticks? That was literally the area. What area is there? It's literally right there. Is the ghost in the hallway? Am I stupid? I mean, don't answer that. But, like... That's a movie, right? What actors are in it? Must go look. Ugh. You would stop as soon as I get here. Why would you do that to me? Huh? Okay, now you're in the kitchen. This ghost does not know what this ghost wants to do. And it's bothering me because I really need you to stay in a certain area so I can get my stuff. I just want one more clue and then we're done. I don't got to deal with you no more then. I'll go away forever. It'll be great. You'll love it. Ghost cat zoomies. It would be really funny if there was a ghost cat in this game. I would like that would be amazing. It was just a cat going like top speed around the fucking house. I'd love that. That would be huge. See there's no dots there's no orbs out here, so the ghost is not out here. The ghost is in the bathroom, so how could I have not cleansed the area when I literally cleansed the bathroom? Is throwing shampoo bottles again. Oh, I am I am done with this ghost. I am done with you. I was like, oh, maybe it'll be a quick ghost, I said. Maybe I'm dumb for thinking that. Ghost cat that you can pet. That's the worst. How do, how do video game developers not know that they need to put animals in games that you can pet? Whenever there's an animal in a game and you can't pet it, it's the worst. <laughs> like, come on. Get with the program here. We have technology that we should be able to pet the dog in every game that we see. I guess I'm going back in because this ghost is being super stupid. I need to do a playthrough of a game soon. I don't know what I'm going to do. I keep putting it off. I was thinking Metal Gear, but then I was waiting for it to, like, come out with... The remaster, but then they didn't come out with a remaster. And I'm like, are you going to do a remaster, or what are you doing? Because you guys keep changing your mind. I'm going to put that there. Maybe I'll see it better in that. It's the one reason I despise Genshin devs. There's so many animals and you can't pet them. I've never played that. I've watched so many people play it. It doesn't seem like something I'd enjoy, but that's just me. Ugh. Maybe it's not dots, because I haven't seen it since, and I've seen orbs everywhere, so... Can we think um, it's not dots? 
I mean, it can't be, right? It can't be. I literally am not seeing it. I'm seeing orbs in the room. So I would see the ghost if it was here, right? I feel like it's probably MF5, which would make it that, however I pronounce that, I don't know. Eden Eternal, what kind of game is that? There's not many games that I see now that I'm like, oh, I want to play that. Like, there's very few. I'm not usually that interested in most games, like newer ones anyway, for whatever reason. Okay, I definitely just seen it go across the dots just then. I I'm not crazy, right? Am I crazy? I swear I just seen it go across that again. Why is this ghost being so freaking difficult? Why you gotta be so complicated? <sighs> Why? 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 I'm just I'm going I'm going with dots. That's twice I've seen that. Where numbers go noom and listen. <laughs> I see. Okay, well, if you enjoy it, that's all that matters. That's why people make games. Some people enjoy them. Uh, I'm sure there's games I like that you do not like. I'm going with dots. We're going with a banshee. I don't care. We're going banshee and we're leaving. Because I want to do one more. This ghost is being stupid. I'm trying to think if there's any games I'm playing right now, like even off stream, but there's not really. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. Most games I play are old ones. Or old ones that I haven't played before. Because there's so many old games that, like, you've never touched. You know what I mean? That you don't realize what you're missing out on. Um, let's do Tanglewood. We haven't done that. We'll do that as our last house, and we'll get murdered immediately because it's going to be a demon. I'm calling it now. It's a demon. I like horror games too, but like there's not that many horror games that I'm like super interested in. Like I like this one obviously, and I like Observation Duty or, or games I love. There's not any new ones at the moment, unfortunately. It's always violence. It's a ghost, bro. Come on now. Gregory Shawcross. It's a strange last name. There are other games. There's another game that I've seen that's Observation Duty-like. It's like a mix between Observation Duty and Five Nights at Freddy's that I would like to play. I'm not a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, personally. But, um... Yeah. It's a mix between that, because there's, like, a thing that hunts you, but it's also, like, Observation Duty, where you have to, like, um, look at cameras. So I'm pretty interested in that. I don't remember what it was called. I remember Gab Smolders played it a while ago, if you know who that is, or if you watch her videos. I've been a fan of her forever. Ooh, living room ghost now. Okay. Never mind. Take it back. Don't tell me it's another bathroom ghost. Okay, good. Can't handle another bathroom ghost. That ghost was frustrating as heck. I've never gotten a kitchen ghost on this level. I've seen many people get the kitchen ghost, but I've never gotten one. 
Is this going to be the time where I get one? No. It's going to be a basement ghost? Probably. Ooh, laundry room? No. Hmm. What the hell is going on with that door? That's weird. That was strange. Well, there's no low temperatures like anywhere right now, so. Power box is here. Basement. Hey, a basement ghost. Hooray. Oh, temperature is looking like it might actually be a basement ghost. Please don't be a basement ghost. I hate basement ghosts. It's the worst ones. Ooh, a Ouija board. I have one of those. Please don't move. I hate it when the rocket chair moves. I hate it so much. <sighs> I think it's in here, yeah, because the temperature is fluctuating quite a bit. Um, we'll put this here just seen dots in front of me or orbs sorry so we'll come back with a dots projector probably another camera first because I want to set one up on the other side of that room is Markiplier actually in that movie because I know I've seen rumors about that being a thing I don't watch Markiplier I'm not a fan I'm just curious if he's actually in it because he's probably the YouTuber most associated with FNAF, right? I was never a fan of him. I don't know why. Just, he didn't, he didn't vibe with me. Jack has always vibe with me. Jack and, and Felix. You know you're an old school YouTube when you talk about how you've been watching like PewDiePie since he started and watching friggin' Equals 3 back when it was a thing. It was the most subscribed channel. I never really liked Smosh. I was never a Smosh fan. I get why people like Smosh, but I did not like Smosh. Um, these aren't the weird shelves, right? I hate the weird ones where they're like... I think that's good. We'll put this here. Old yo old YouTube was so different than it is now. When you think about it, man, the different eras of YouTube. Like there's a really edgy era era like ten years ago too, you know. Where everybody was just saying the most inappropriate crap. Just because. Okay, so we got orbs. We don't have dots yet. I should probably write that down, actually. Before I forget, because I will. Oh, man. Um... Wait, what am I holding? Oh, spirit box. Okay, we'll take that first. This. I don't know why I forgot what I had. Uh, most YouTube stuff I watch now is like reaction videos and stuff like that. I like LGR, if you know what LGR is. Um, I don't know. I don't really watch a whole lot. I watch a lot of Gab's Molders. I watch a lot of Jacksepticeye. Where are you? You said far, but you literally threw a book behind me, so I think you'd be a liar. I watch, like, everything. I mean, you know. It's crazy to me that I've been watching PewDiePie since he started, and he's, like, married and having a kid now. <laughs> and living in Japan. That's so weird to me. 
it's like with anybody that you're watching, you know, like I've been watching Phil for a while on Twitch and I've been watching Wilbur for a really long time. And it's crazy that Will has like this huge band. He just met, he met the Arctic monkeys in person. Like that's nuts. That's like one of his dreams for sure. Gotta be right. Ugh. My keyboard be being weird lately. It keeps automatically moving. It's gonna get me killed in Minecraft, I swear. Okay, so we got spirit box. We don't have dots. Um, I gotta check the ghost writing when we go in. I think it might be EMF. How's our sanity before I go in there? I watch a lot less Minecraft than I used to, but that's mainly because most of the people I watch playing Minecraft aren't doing it anymore. Like, Tommy doesn't do a whole lot of that anymore. Will, obviously, is on tour. He's got more important things to deal with. Um, so, really, it's only when Phil streams. I'm, like, always in Phil's streams. Still. I've been thinking about canceling my subscription to Will, actually, because he doesn't stream anymore, really. I mean, he's probably going to start again soon because the tour is going to be over, but... I got I got a sneaking suspicion that he's going to possibly retire from streaming and YouTube. Maybe not permanently. Like, he'll probably do it every now and then in between and stuff, but I don't think he's ever going to, obviously, be back back to, like frequently recording a lot and stuff especially his own videos you know which is unfortunate because he's really funny and he's good at it but well freezing temperatures but uh i mean music is his first love more than anything so that's fully understandable you know if i became if i was like if i had a career on youtube or twitch and i became a huge musician i could go on tour beyond rolling stone magazine and meet Arctic monkeys, like I, I would 100% just ditch Twitch all the time. <laughs> I'd be out. Not that I'm sure he's not appreciative of. I mean, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. Not to, to diminish his talent, but he would not be as big as he is right now if he didn't stream and already be famous to begin with. You know. Because there's probably a million bands trying to do what Lovejoy does. You know, and they, they just they'll never get to that level because. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work getting to that level. It's a lot of, uh, convincing people to like you. But he already had the platform, so, I mean, as soon as he started doing music, he already had everybody that he streams to willing to listen to his music, you know? It's like the perfect setup. Okay, well, we know what the ghost is. We're just going for extra points now at this point. He's upstairs now. You are up here now. You were in the basement, and now you're up here. You can't make up your mind. It's okay, though, because we got all the evidence we needed, so. I guess it was a roaming ghost. What kind of ghost was it again? I don't know. Is that one of the ones that do that? When threatened, this ghost will be less likely to hunt. It steals from dying victims' bodies to seek revenge. This ghost has been known to fear any form of fire. will do anything to be far from it. So what you're saying is if I walked around with a lighter, he would have been afraid of me. Interesting. I like how I have my own EMF reader. I barely ever use Welcome it. Back. I took it the last time when we did a, the last music video we did because we were in like an abandoned house and I was just always curious about those things. I wish I had a spirit box, but they're so expensive. How was it a mimic? I literally had the evidence for the other thing. Did I not? We had orbs. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. 
I need more tower cards. I haven't seen any in this entire time we've been playing. We got that many, but we don't have all of them. So. We got every every other item in this game I have besides the tarot cards. It's pretty crazy. Okay. I'm going to end stream. Thanks for hanging out with me. We always have good conversations whenever you're here anyway. And um, I'll be back again tomorrow night with Minecraft. Back to survival. I gotta continue doing islands. Building, getting quartz. To build quartz structures, which is expensive AF. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So hard for me to do emotes. Okay, I'll see you then. Or whenever next time you uh, pop in. Have a good day for you, I guess. Bye-bye.